What a good looking baby she must be. Meanwhile, in other news, a gym allows the health conscious to catch up on their workouts, even with their busy schedules. True to its name, Anytime Fitness is open 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, and it recently opened its flagship and 5th Philippine branch in Paseo Center. Joining us today to tell us more about the world's fastest growing health club is Anytime Fitness Asia's master franchisee, Mr. Maurice Levine. Good morning. Good morning, Gretchen. Welcome How are you? to the Philippines. Thank you. I it love being here. It is an honor to, to have you here. Wow. You are the ma master franchisee of Anytime Fitness all across Asia. Yes. And, um, you know, I'm sure we will learn a lot from you this morning. But um, tell us, what makes Anytime Fitness different from the other gyms that we've seen? Yeah, that's a really good question. Um, you know, the thing that beats, uh, that trumps everything in the gym industry is convenience. So our model is um, to be accessible to everyone, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. We literally never close. So um, if you find yourself too busy, a lot, a lot of people these days, I just have no time to get to the gym. But I'm sorry, there's no more excuse. So Anytime Fitness is now opening up in community areas within I, walking distance. I'm of not sure if that's live. good news or bad news yeah. for people. <laughs> <laughs> so how does that work? Um, you go to the gym. In a, uh, y can you access all the gyms once you become a member of yeah. Anytime Fitness? So how it works is really simple. Um, but um, simple to say, but very complex to operate, right? So we have 3,000 gyms around the world. And we will be... An quote me on this, will be the number one gym operator in the Philippines uh, by beginning next year. Wow. And so what we're trying to do is provide this great convenience tool where, for example, if you're a member of a gym in um, the province, in Cebu or wherever you might find yourself, and you're traveling around the Philippines, one key will access any gym in the Philippines. But looking at Filipinos who travel so often, over th overseas Filipino workers, um, they might find themselves in Hong Kong or the U.S. or wherever, and they can use the same key to access any gym in the entire world anytime they want. And you just have to pay a one-month mm -hmm. subscription. In your gym locally. How much is one month? Well, it's around 2,300 to 2,500 pesos and, um, per month. Can I subscribe to the gym? For just one month, you or can. am I supposed to do it for one year? You can, but you know the the route to wellness is a long term commitment. So anyone going into a gym and saying I'm just going to do a one month program, think of something else, because it's not that you know you have to commit to your lifestyle change, and in order to do that, it takes a commitment, mm -hmm. a lifestyle ch change. You know, it takes a long time. So do time. you incentivize people who subscribe to a one-year program or two-year program? We do. We incentivize, but, but is more it cheaper? Over, well, it's cheaper, but it's not, you know, what's the cost of health, right? So what we're trying to do is show people mm. a new way of thinking, have them act, feel, or think differently mm -hmm. about their own lifestyle choices. So we also provide, for example, free orientation. You can, Gretchen, you're going to find this amazing, but the number of the population of people in the Philippines that have gym memberships is around 2%. 2%? Only 2%. Wow. Which is exceedingly low. Why do you think is that so here in the Philippines? Well, you know, I think a lot of the challenge has been access to good programs and good uh, facilities, particularly in community areas. So our gyms are within one to three kilometers walking distance of where people live. And again, this convenience factor is really important. We have a lot of BPOs here, obviously. Mm -hmm. And when you're in a call center and you're working all day and you know, you're, you're, you're a bit tired and having sat all day, wouldn't it be good to know that there's a 24-hour gym just in proximity to where you're working? And there hasn't been that access to date. So we're trying to bring the gym to the people to accommodate their time. I actually agree with you on that. Um, convenience is a very important factor. But, you know, apart from convenience, another thing that Filipinos take into consideration is the price. How do you think um, is uh, convenience going to be a leverage against the price? I mean, for us, there are a lot of, um, right now, there are a lot of gyms sprouting up and about, just individual centers, and they offer a lot cheaper rates. Sure. So why should people prefer Anytime Fitness over those small gyms? You can always buy a a cheaper pizza. <laughs> but it doesn't mean that the cheaper pizza is the most popular pizza. But 
for a lifestyle, so put the pizza aside, for a lifestyle choice, for on average a cup of, uh, the cost of a cup of coffee, what, what value do people have for their health? So when people are grappling over whether it's 2,300 pesos or 2,500 pesos, or should I, or shouldn't I, think about what you spend today on your food choices and what you consume today, mm -hmm. and then consider that perhaps if I looked after my wellness, that that is priceless. So, so look, looking for, at the long term. Looking at the long term, because when you look at what what happens to you if you leave a sedent if you lead a sedentary lifestyle, what happens with you know there's a huge rise unfortunately in, in obesity here, mm -hmm. and as a consequence, diabetes and lifestyle choices that people are taking in the Philippines. Look, I, I admit I love I, I, I love my lechon. <laughs> right, but, but everything. Nice uh, to know. Oh you know, yeah, but everything in moderation, right? Yes. But but at any time, fitness. The idea is to give wellness to the community and try to do it mm -hmm. at comfortably affordable prices, and, and try to encourage people to, for the first time, you know, aunties, uncles, anyone. It mm -hmm. doesn't matter what age. It doesn't matter where you are. Come into the gym and and begin to take the first step. Well, Maurice, obviously you put a lot of value to the quality of workout. Um, what, what can we find inside the gym okay. that will translate to that? What are your equipment? What are your um, classes that we can find in there? Sure. So we have all of the equipment that we have in our gyms have been imported from the U.S. at a great expense. But they're the best equipment that money could buy. So we have your ubiquitous treadmills and your cardio equipment. Mm -hmm. And we have the free weights and all of the items that one would expect to see in a gym. But we also care more because our gyms are more intimately sized and we're going to get to know your goals. And I'm going to, I'm going to say something which is really important, that we're going to guarantee an outcome. If you stick with a program long term, and we're going to be mutually accountable. If you say, I want to lose weight, and I want to do this, and I'm serious about it, then we will assign a wellness coach to you. And over the period of time, and you commit, we commit to you, I guarantee mm -hmm. you, I guarantee you, you will achieve your fitness goals. What are the classes available? So, you know, we have Zumba, uh, you know, we have, we, we do do yoga, we do dance, all sorts of things that are fun and interesting. And we have some hardcore stuff as well. Mm -hmm. uh, but, you know, again, thinking about this, if less than, if around 2% of Filipinos have no gym membership, often what they're doing is they're entering the gym for the very first time. So it's incumbent on us. We're reliable to show them how to use the equipment. Mm -hmm. And to begin, depending on who you are, wh if you are uh, a senior, we want you in the gym, and we'll show you a different regime to someone who's already been working out for a while. But my question is, right now, the fitness trends are going towards um, the yoga centers, sure. CrossFit boxes, sure. boxing gyms. How will you encourage the, the normal person to go to the gym? Because people have that connotation that when you go to the gym, it's all hard work. They get intimidated by it. You know, but um, how will you, why is it, why is going to the gym still important today? simple that we in order to get well you have to make lifestyle decisions and again with the issues related to diabetes fast food all there's a proliferation of fast food with the issues related to sugary diet fatty diets etc if you what is what is the alternative so leading a sedentary lifestyle not not being active mm -hmm. well there's trouble afoot because as you get older, as you age, or um, you know, even if you're just um, feeling a little bit lethargic, working out gives you energy, and it provides you with the ability to do more, mm -hmm. be more flexible, and, and what have you. Now, yoga is great. Yoga is a great vehicle for that. Um, Pilates is great. Um, running is great. Anything. Just begin to begin. Because if you don't then you suffer the consequences, mm -hmm. unfortunately. It's proven, it's actually scientifically proven that working out will help you and give you a better life quality. It's as simple as that. So people have to make a choice. 
Now, Maurice, I know that you're a busy man. I mean, you're, you're, you've been all over the world trying to promote anytime fitness as a lifestyle. Um, but can you give also our viewers some tips on how to get fit despite their busy schedules? I can. Simple. Move. <laughs> right? It begins even if you even if you don't even if you choose not to join a gym, which is okay. We just want people to get out and walk to begin. And then maybe in due course, depending on their condition, maybe run. Maybe just do something other than sitting and watching T V. Mm -hmm. Not that there's anything wrong with watching T V because we're here right now, <laughs> right? So Gretchen, I want them to watch. But at the end of the day, what we want them to do is we want them to just get busy and get active and get everyone, the whole family involved. Get out there, get active, and enjoy life. There you go. Simple. Just move. Maybe you can invite our uh, viewers to go visit Anytime Fitness. Thank you so much. Where can we you. find you? What branches? Wow. What locations so we, are you in? So we will have, um, by December, 11 locations open in the Philippines. We're at the Pioneer Center in Tashig. Uh, we're at Hemedy, uh, Paseo de Rojas in the Salcido area. Um, we're in High Street. Mm -hmm. By the way, High Street's my gym. I work wow. out there, so come see me. <laughs> I'll show you how to work out. Um, wow, I'm going to be missing a few locations, <laughs> but I have to remember them all. But definitely, but I know you have a big target for, for your gym this yeah. year. Yes. Over 95 gyms all across the country. And we're, we're looking forward to seeing more of Anytime Fitness. Thank you so much for my, visiting us this morning. Honor. And um, it's always a pleasure to see a man promoting fitness as a lifestyle. My honor. Thank you, Tarcha. Thank you all.